hello this is fashion star gold this is the continuation of the wrap top with peplum dress so i've already cut the hand this is the lining for the hand this is the peplum and this is the lining for the peplum This is the back side and this is the lining for it. This is the band or the rope as you want to call it. One is higher and longer, one is shorter. The one that is longer is 56 inches while the short one is 44 inches so this is the front side of it this is the front side of it this is how I cut the warden this warden not too strong, not too soft. This is how I cut it. And the lining. So this is the front side of it. This is the front. And this is the lining. I have a video on how to part, how to part. So just go to my channel, click, click on it. So you will see it there. So this is how I cut the wording for the front. It's my bust point line. This is the under bust. So this is how I cut it, and this is how I cut this other side. Now then iron it, gum it, then sew it. This is the top. I've joined the shoulder. I've joined the princess that I've drawn the side so this is how the front look like is an overlapping top see how it laps here this is the back side of it This is how the back side look like. As I said, this is the front side of it. This is how I gum it. This is how I put the, the warden, the breast part. This is how I put the breast part. So I've ironed it. This is the lining. This is the lining. Is the back side of it, is the front side of it. It laps is through. So now I want to measure the color. It's a long color. So this is how to take the measurement. This is the center back. You hold the center back and you measure this way. I'm starting from the center back. Measure this way. You measure like this. I folded it into two, and I'm still taking the measurement of the band.
So this is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. So I'm going to measure 55 or 60 so that I can trim off the remaining one. There are two ways you can measure the shawl. You can place your measurement this way. You can place it this way in bias form. You can place it this way. It is triangular shape. You can measure it this way like this. Then I'm Take your measurement. You can take your measurement this way. You can get your width too. Your width can be six inches, it can be five inches, five and a half inches, four and a half inches, depending on what you want. So there's another way of measuring it. You can place your material this way, place it straight. Place it straight this way, fold it into two, then take your measurement. So, so you can determine the width. The width is four inches then you have to notch the center notch the center of it if you want to place a color gum you can do so but if you don't want to place a color gum you can leave it you can use a soft gum you can even place it and so without adding anything it depends on what your what you want or your preference So this is my flare. I'm going to attach it to the downside of the top. Remember, it's a trap. It's a wrap top. It's a wrap top. It will have a belt. So this how it's gonna look like. This how it's gonna look like. If you are going to attach, you start from here. Start from the front to attach, attach it all around and stop here. I joined this place, but I'm going to open it. My belt will pass through here. My belt will pass through here. So I'm going to open this place. I will join the belt this way. The belt depends on what you want. I have 60 inches belt one is longer and one is shorter the longer one i'm going to attach it this way and it's going to pass through here i'll turn to the back side of it it will come out this way while the shorter one i'm going to attach it this way and it will come out this way so this is a sleeve i have a long sleeve here this is a sleeve here so I'm going to attach it and I'll show it to you. This is the sewing of this wrap top. I've attached the shawl collar. This is the collar I've attached it. See how neat it is. I fix my lining. There's a way I fix this lining. The same way I sewn the upside, the outer side is the same way I sew the inner side. This is how I join the lining. I start from the center back. This is the center back. 
from the center back here i had to pin it pin to the end this is how i pin it and this is how i sew it i start from the edge here i start from here to sew i sew it to the end first of all before i place the lining i place the shawl color face i place it first the shawl color is the blue color that you see here i place it first then i place the lining the wrong side of it to the wrong side and now sew it to the end after sewing it to the end i had to turn it when you turn it to this other side this is how it looks like this is how it looks like so the top is almost ready this is how it looks like it's going to lap this way it will lap this way remember it's a princess cut or princess that wrapped up so it's going to lap this way it's going to wrap like this if i like i can bend it if i don't want i leave it straight I leave it straight depending on what you want I've ironed it very neat. So this is a sleeve. This is a sleeve here. I finish sewing the two sleeve. I have to notch the center of the sleeve. I notch this other side of it. So I'm going to attach it. You can start from the down here, from the armpit here. You can start from here to attach. The same thing applicable to this side. This is the peplum. This is the peplum. If you are attaching the peplum, you have to start from here start from here to sew so it this way start from here to sew from this end start from here to sew so it's all round this is my belt. This one is longer than this one. So this one that is shorter, I will attach it this way. I will attach it from here. I will attach it from my right hand side of it of the top this one that is longer i'll attach it from the left hand side of it i'll attach it from here then i'll open this place i'll measure three inches because the belt is three inches so i'm going to measure three inches i will lose the three inches here so as the belt is going now like this is going to pass through this place the place i'm going to open from here it will pass through and come aside then it will lap round and meet the shortest belt so i'm going to sew it now but before that I will now place it and trim the lining off. I still have a little excess on the lining. 
So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it this way with my pins. I'll hold it this way. I'll trace it. Make sure that it's the same thing. See, this one is a bit shorter. Okay, it's longer. It's half inch longer than the main fabric. But this side is okay. So um, you have to hold it, straighten it, straighten it. Then trim out the excess of the lining. When I'm through, I'll show you the finished work of it. So still stay tuned. This is the concluding part of the training. This is the wrap top. This is the shawl collar. I've joined the shawl collar. This is how it looks like. It's so beautiful. This is a princess cut. This is a princess cut here. The breast cut. This is the peplum, the sleeve, this is the rope, this is how I attach this rope here, I cut this short one by the right hand, hand side of it, this is the short one, the short rope, and this is a long rope, the long rope pass through a hole and go across the back side and Came out to this side. So this is how to do it. This is the back side of it. This is the back side of the wrap top. See how I place the belt. The belt is coming out from inside. I open three inches for the belt to pass through the inside of the lining across this place and come out from it. So this is how it is. It's very neat. It's a neat job in the neat sewing. This is the front side of it. This is the front side of it. If you want to fold it, you can fold it. You can fold it this way. If you don't want to fold it, you can leave it like this. So the belt does not come through this place. There is no belt this side. So this is the look of it. This is how it comes out. I wish you can sew your own. This is a sleeve. Neatly placed. So thank you so much for watching this channel. This is Fashion Star Go. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. What are you waiting for? Just click on the notification bell so that when I'm going to upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye. I love you guys.